All right. Looks like it's working. Hello, everybody. Is that working? It's a small delay. Let's see if we can get that to work. Bye. How's everybody doing? This lovely Friday, for some I guess it's already a Saturday or a Friday night. Uh, let me just send a link everywhere and I'll be right with you folks. All right. All right, who's here? Who's here, who's here? Jason, my dear friend Jason, how are you doing? Are you watching? Jason, thank you so much for your lovely uh, infographics you made for Legendary Club. Those are one of a kind. Really, really appreciate your help, brother. Uh, let me just post this here. And I'll be right with you. Okay. Hey guys. How's everybody doing? Can everybody hear me all right? Yeah, you can hear me. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, it's been quite an eventful week, I guess, for a lot of us, huh? For a lot of, uh, a lot of us uh, involved in the ecosystem, right? Well, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, Vulcan, but I guess we can talk a little bit about SGO first. Uh, price is really uh, taking quite the, uh, a steep haircut since yesterday, since a couple days now. Really, really steep haircut. So we're almost towards the price we're post the uh, bot invasion, as they call it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, things are. What has happened in the past, you know, two, two weeks? Let's let's just go back and think about it, right? So we've been promised liquidity pairings, you know. A bunch of them, over 500 of them. Brian has consistently paired with, you know, one and another, and the third and the fourth, and I think we're over 10 pairs in LPs. Uh, what else has happened? There is uh, BNB pot, which every three days now it was usually it was actually every 24 hours, and now it's every three days. There is a Powerball, and you can participate with even less than like a dollar. You can participate with like 67 cents. I participated yesterday to, to uh, understand how the mechanism works and also to try my luck, see if I win so I can give away some more as go to some people. Uh, if those were watching it yesterday, somebody won with like 33% chance of odds and replay today for the next one with, with their winnings. So uh, yeah. I don't think I'll be participating in the next one. <laughs> you know, not for, not to, uh, not to uh, discourage anybody from uh, from playing. But uh, yeah, uh, if I was uh, Mark, I think his name is called uh, his name Mark of BNB Pot, I would put uh, limits, okay? Because uh, somebody putting five hundred dollars when the rest are you know putting you know. 10% of that, you know, uh, kind of is an unfair situation. But of course, they could circumvent it as it's decentralized and create 100 wallets, right? But I mean, really, are they going to do that for being, you know, a Powerball of a thousand or 500 or dollars? I don't know, uh, because in in, in 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 the gaming industry, so in casino, there's a lot of techniques. You know, uh, if you look at, for example, BNB Pots Roulette. Right, uh, uh, the difference between a European roulette and uh, an American roulette is that there's a two zeros, uh, right? Instead of just the one zero, so there's the zero and there's the two zero. That changes a lot in terms of odds um, for somebody who's betting, you know, single 
single decks like on black or, or red. Um, oh, here, I got a friend here. Awesome. <laughs> hey, buddy, what's going on? Hey, Chris, nice to see you. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have much time, but I thought it will be important to uh, talk about a little bit about the announcement of uh, Vulcan in terms of the uh, recent uh, update from uh, Jason, uh, just to, to, to say exactly what I think and also what I'll be doing and uh, what I believe is the right uh, strategy now uh, for, for, for LC as well uh, awesome. in that regard. Uh, so I was just talking about the B pot, you know, I don't know if you've seen, but uh, like uh, there is uh, there was like a guy who won yesterday who had like 33% chance of winning, oh. you know, right. So he, he and he replayed for for the for the for the next round, you know, so uh, his winning. So, you know, for me, it, it feels kind of unfair. And I was suggesting perhaps if Mark watches this, you know, they can set limits. Uh, because one of the strategies in casino, like on his roulette, like on every roulette table in the world, uh, there are limits. Uh, because if you just, uh, if you have, for example, infinite, infinite amount of money, right? Um, you could just bet red, lose, double, you know, martingale, and until you win. That's why they have a limit on the roulette on um, BNB pot, which everybody has. So why can't they do it on the Powerball as well, right? So, Very true. Uh, Very true. Yeah. Okay. They can circumvent it and put a hundred wallets, but who's going to do a hundred wallets for something so so small? You know. True, true. I mean, uh, you never know. People out there, they do uh, they do crazy things. It's like, uh, you know, I mean, they, they might have a, a chance of winning, but at the same time, the first couple winners had less, like point was it point seventeen percent, and the other one was like point twenty four, and then, you know, so, I mean, I guess it's just. You know, you're putting your money in, you're you're running the risk, you know, and it's it's a chance at something. I do know that uh, Crypto Pride is going to do his live tonight and he's going to be uh, uh, doing the BNB pot. And him and I have talked about it and I was going to sponsor uh, the money that he uses to, to do that. So, you know, maybe it'd just be a little bit of a game for everybody and everything like that. But and then I and another thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He. uh he's in the comments there yeah i mean pride needs to take a a, a lip a victory lap around because he was talking about how you know that he thought that vol not not fudding but thought that vol was going to take longer to launch and everything and when he when he said that everybody what no way you know but he crypto pride was right so <laughs> congratulations pride yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah we should have all listened to you from the beginning. <laughs> well, I mean, technically speaking, we, we could have picked up on a couple of things. So if we yeah. let's talk about Vulcan. Um, so if you if you recall, if you watched uh, uh, Nick Kalyani went on uh, stream with Daniel, like mm -hmm. three, four weeks uh, uh, speaking about uh, Daniel. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> oh, there he is. What's up, Daniel? <laughs> What's up? Chris, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. I know. It's been wonderful. I mean, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're supposed to be like almost best friends. Me and your map are, are now best friends, but well, I you can still we be my other best friend. I thought we. I thought you said in your life that we're no longer best friends or something. Oh no, yeah, I was just oh. joking about that. Oh okay, I okay. I was just joking. I didn't, yeah, I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding with you, Daniel. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm gonna go on in two in two hours. I've upped my time. It was gonna be at one, but I'll be home by eleven thirty, so I can go on at twelve. I'm gonna go on at twelve instead of one, which is awesome. an hour early. And I'm going to talk about the worldwide token, which a lot of people got to find out some stuff about today. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You should, um, yeah, do a, do like an AMA. Do like an AMA type thing. Ask yourself questions. Well, I'm just going to talk about some of the things that I mentioned in my announcement. Uh, get some people's minds off of this, uh, <clears throat> you know, the whole thing where we're, we've, we've now been moved to, uh, possibly the end of the year. We don't know if that's if that's the case. 
could be any time now. It could be the next month. It could it could be ne next month and a half that, that they've released it. But you know, they said end of the year, which freaks everybody out. You know how that is. End of well, the year is the only thing people see. So you know, uh, I have to talk about that, and people are gonna, you know, people are blaming me and kind of getting on my case about it and acting like you know I'm. I'm I'm to blame also, and that I I, I hold some responsibility in this, uh, getting people hyped up, and so many different so many different ridiculous things. I'm not a part of the team, right? Like all I do is just go on and talk about it every day, and I can only talk about the same thing that you guys talk about, which is what they tell us. Right. I don't make things up. I, I don't I don't I don't predict. You know, I I just tell them what they. Hey, listen, they keep on saying it's going to be Q, Q2. What am I going to do? Right. I'm not going to be like, I don't think so. Like if that's what they're telling us, there's other people that can play that role. I don't do that. I tell them what they tell us. So they told us end of the year. Now we got to deal with it, but it's not me. Well, I, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily think it's you. And I don't think one person can be to blame for anything. The only thing that I'm bothered by through the whole entire thing is that I think like your map was starting to talk about, I think there was indications previously that it was going to be a little longer, but I would have I would have hoped that the the team would have gotten back to us a lot sooner than closer to the end of quarter two. I, I just wish this we we should I wish they would have maybe announced this or given us a little bit more info at the beginning of June or the end of May. You know that it was going to go longer. It just it felt like it was like they keep saying quarter two, and I know that you said that on your show, Daniel. Yeah. They say that they keep saying it's quarter two and and we didn't have any indications. We had thoughts, you know, of, of different things, but you know, they were telling I mean, I can I can't disagree with you, Chris. I mean they should they no. should have said something earlier. Yeah. They they absolutely should have. But I mean, again, as guys that go on and girls, there's there's girls that do this too for us. We've got chalk talk and maybe a, a few others. But when we go on, I'm I'm not the type of person that goes on and contradicts what they say. I'm sorry, I just don't do that. I'm going to tell you what they keep on telling us. And even just a few days ago, right, Max? It he just said in an, in, in a in a in a pin message, we can, we're going to be ready by Q2. And then we get this today, and the house falls apart. You know, it's like I can't I I can't help the fact that we're going to be late on this. Yeah. I was only telling them. I was. I'm only telling everybody what what, what they told what they told us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think you should be taking the blame for it, Daniel. I, I, you know, and I think anybody reasonable out there would would think that you're going with the. You basically are discussing the information that you have received, just like yeah. they have received. So, you know, it's hard to hard to say. And I do know in the last couple of weeks, I've seen some of your lives and stuff. I mean, you you have said. We don't, we don't see any indication or they haven't given us any indication that it won't happen in Q2. So, yeah. I mean, unless you're reading something that I'm not, I was getting the same thing out of that. So well, Exactly. I mean, and, and the reason why I said that was because not only did they not ever mention it was not going to be Q2, they would mention that it is going to be Q2. That's the reason why I would say they haven't given us any indication. And then when, when this happened... Uh, when we got an indication of it, I said it yesterday. That's when I said, this is the first time we see Q3 written and posted in this Discord and pinned and, and announced in any way. They've never said this, but I'm telling you right now, since he put it on here, expect it. That was what my live shot was all about yesterday, was getting people to understand, don't freak out, expect it now. This is the first time they've ever mentioned Q3 and... They've never done this before, so I'm expecting it now. Just expect it. And then today, not only was it Q3, but the e EOY was put on there, which everybody was freaking out because that just means end of the year. That doesn't mean Q3 or right. even Q4. Like, Q4 is October. Like, we can, you know, but end of the year is December. That freaks people out even more, you know. Well, I mean, and, and, and this is just <laughs> – Another, I know. I'm. I'm sorry, you Matt, that taking up all your time. But the, um, please, please, please. no, this is what this is what he's on for. This is what he was. He made this live shot to talk about this, right? Right, uh, you Matt. Um, this, uh, my thing is that I'm in in the business world, and I do a lot of with project planning and project management. So, 
I have a lot of different things from construction to environmental things and, and, and manufacturing. So if I, I would be very, very upset with my project team if they came to me and we were expecting some type of a, you know, into the project or, or, or basically being able to go live uh, and, and, you know, open the doors type thing at two weeks before and saying, no, it's going to be way longer. So to me, some, somewhere along the line, someone dropped the ball. So I don't know if, if Brian and Jason found something or something happened, but to me, this is way, way too late for them to be letting us know this. But at the same time, I am not privy to all the inside stuff. I just know that somebody somewhere is pretty PO'd because they had, and, and probably Jason, because he had to put this message out there and then field all the questions about it and everything like that. And I'm not sure if they'll ever, will ever know the truth or, or, or they'll be able to divulge that. But I'm thinking that maybe something was seen or something was done that they were like, no, we, we got to fix this, you know, and that's what pushed it as far out as him saying end of year. So right now he might be saying that, but they may over deliver now. Now I think they're more set up to, to come back and, you know, they're going to over deliver. I don't think it's going to be the end of the year, but you know, who knows, but pride might've been right all along. <laughs> and when people were saying that it was Valentine's and day, be I, like, texted him, I, I texted him immediately. I said, you were right. Pride more, more, all props go to you, my brother. You know, and uh, every in fact, people were giving him props on top of their complaints. People were like, "Pride was right, Pride was right." And I was like, "Yeah, he was right." I mean, you yeah. know, it might be for a little bit of a different reason, but really, that doesn't matter, right? What's the reason? Who cares? It's it, there's a delay, and um, and it is what it is, you know. So, yeah, I wish this um, would have been more like this from the beginning because I really do think that in the years, just that I I do think it'll come long before that, but. This really gives I do too. I do too, Chris. Except the only thing that I would not mention, though, I would, I would, I would stay away from the phrase "over deliver" and "under promise." Well, let's not go there because we're uh, we're we're way we're, past where we were yeah, supposed. Yeah. We, this is the second time, you know. So now we're now we're like we're 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 at the point where they're under delivering in terms of what they said was going to happen. It was supposed to be January. Then it was supposed yep. to be March. Then it was supposed to be Q2. And now it's until the end of the year. That's way, way, way in terms of when this is supposed to be done. That's way under delivering. Uh, they're, they're, they're what they've said. Now, I think why you're right is because I think, yes, that they said by the end of the year, because I think they know, they know that they're going to be done way before the end of the year. Yeah. And that could be September. It could be August. It could be, it could be November. It could be October. And that's, that's before the end of the year. Like, but the end of the year, when people see that, that's why I was saying it's freaking yeah. people out because that means December and nobody wants to wait until December. We will, we will, if we have to, but nobody wants that. And end of the year means December. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think that you're right. I think I would have preferred this to have been something, um, you know, from the beginning. You know, we're we're gonna shoot for launching in by the end of the year of 2023, like last year. You know, the end of last year, they were saying, "Give us, give us a, a year to get all everything together." But you know, it is what it is, and you know what, we all have an idea now, so. Hopefully they can deliver it sooner, or, and hopefully everything is fine. Maybe they saw something with the Safeway Go launch that they were like, "Wait, you know, we got to make sure this or that." You know, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I'm 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 thoroughly disappointed with with the Safeway Go and everything that's happening with that. I mean, I woke up today to $169 Safeway. So I'm Safeway Go. I mean, I was just like, you know, I just like. Uh, it, I, I don't even know what to think about that. Like, and, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go on and on about it because to me, it's not, it's not anything. I mean, I know that $169 is a lot of money, but let's just face it, guys. This is not, this is not anywhere close to what, to what we thought it was gonna be. So, for you know, forget about that. But if there was something that they saw in that launch and, and in this, and, and in that whole process, then 
you know, fantastic. Hopefully it helps. But, you know, in the end, nobody really cares about that. They're, they just want to see this blockchain come to fruition. And I and, I'm, and yeah. the, the other thing that, I, that I'm going to hear, just like you will, your map and, and, and Chris, is if I would have known... Oh my goodness! If I would have known, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have sacrificed. I wouldn't have bought into this. All this nonsense. Yes, you would have. Yes, you would have. Stop with the nonsense. You would have done the same thing. Because you don't get. It's not every day that you go, that you're in the mix with the people involved in creating a new blockchain. You wish that you could have been there when Cardano was being made. You wish that you could have been there when Binance was being made. You wish that you could have been there when Aptos was being made. All these blockchains that have come out. If you could have been there at the very beginning when, when Pulse Chain was at the beginning and they were all hexagons and then, and then Richard Hart said, hey, you know what? I want to make a blockchain. And they were all like, yes, let's do it. They waited two years. They all, they all had to deal with it. You you would be the same way if you would if you if you knew that you can get in on all these all these blockchains. This is your chance. If they, if they would have told us all this stuff was going to happen in, in advance, most of us would have been there because I know I would have. And yes, there would be some some people, but the amount of people that are going to come out and say that is going to be ridiculous. And I just don't want to hear that. Yes, you would have. Yeah, and, I haven't uh, heard what you have. What you have to think, though, Max, because yeah. I've been talking so much since I came on. I'm sorry. I agree entirely. Uh, the fact that everybody would have sacrificed pretty much the same thing. You know, it's it, the 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 opportunity we have behind in front of us is, is immense, and everybody just needs to realize. Maybe take a step step back, right? Just take a step back and realize where are we? We are basically all together, all of us, since the beginning of Seifu. We've seen the end of the last bull run. Now we're seeing a sort of bear market because I don't know who exactly is calling this a bear market because I've seen bear markets and they are still cutthroat. I'm talking about 90% drops. But by the time you you, you you know you go get a coffee, you come back to your thing, another 50% drop. Those were the bear markets. <laughs> you know, yeah. There was so cutthroat that you crypto, like I couldn't hear about crypto no more. Like even if uh, my, I was just, I couldn't look at my screen anymore. Like I, I couldn't do it because that was tough. That was a tough moment. 2018, that was really tough. Now it's all, yeah. it's all, I mean, what SEC announcing some, this sort of crazy stuff and we're having, okay, we're at like $234, but we're at $234 and we're at $25,000 Bitcoin. We used to be at like $4,000, $5,000 Bitcoin for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and, and less then, than that, less than that, a lot less than that. It's been, you know. And, and, but then you see some. There, it's like moves and counter moves. You see BlackRock uh, investing. You see trillion. that, right? You yeah. saw that, right? That's huge. Uh, trillion. That would double the market, the, the entire ecosystem of crypto. You know. <laughs> it would more. It would more than double it. It would more than double it because that kind of money coming in excites everybody else you understand like blackrock saying i'm gonna do this and they're, and they're pushing everybody out of the way which is what's going to happen like they're gonna just say okay enough is enough we're we're ready now you can stop what you're doing gary we have a good price that we want to we can enter now then gary starts to line up and shape up all of a sudden he starts to say the same things that he was saying back in the day i have tape after tape after tape of him saying these things over and over again positivity all the great things about crypto none of them are securities 75 percent of the market 70 percent of the market all this crap that he used to say now he's saying the exact opposite calling it a scam as soon as uh, think tells him to, he's going to turn on a freaking dime and all of a sudden everything's going to be, you know what? It's uh, we, 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 we started, we've started to realize that these things are sufficiently more than sufficiently decentralized. And, uh, you know what? It, it turns out that because of their decentralization, these things can't be, it's impossible for them to be, uh, you know, a, a security. They're, they're decentralized. Like, you're going to hear all this kind of nonsense come out. And it's because Larry Fink is going to snap his fingers. And when that happens, watch everything change. And, and if they bring in a trillion dollars max, expect everybody else to bring in their billions of dollars, which is going to equal more tw trillions of dollars. That's my prediction. And, 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 and it, it's people talking about market manipulation. That is market manipulation. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yes, that it is. Serious market manipulation, you know, because the guy is a is a very big public figure in a very big, you know. Oh my God! He's the mo he's got to be the most influential influential person financially 
on the planet, on the planet. And I'm telling you right now, this guy, Gary Gensler, is in his pocket. And when you say, and, and you know, I don't know this for a fact. This is just me speculating, okay, everybody? But, like, Larry Fink, if he calls Gary Gensler and says, I want you to cause a FUD storm because we have decided that we, we want to buy into, into, into Bitcoin. Uh, but the price right now is at 30000 It's at 40000 It's at whatever it was. Uh, we want it to get down. And then when we get, when we get down low enough, after we've seen enough, then we'll let you know that we're good. And that is the ultimate. I mean, he got, like, listen, Max, he got the freaking chairman of the SEC to say all this crap. If that's not the ultimate manipulation, then I don't know what is. It is absolutely manipulation. Everybody needs to take a step back. Those that enjoy crypto, those that love and those that are enthusiastic about it should not even pay attention to this. This should be... One, like uh, a tell, you know, like when you play poker, you have tells like the guy, oh, he's he's doing some sort of a move that he's bluffing. Well, this yeah. is a bluff. This is all a bluff. This is, so you got to see past the smoke. Crypto is not going anywhere. It's so big, it cannot go anywhere. You, you know, for, for example, okay, let's say somehow for the love of God, uh, for, somehow finance is out of the game. Well, Vulcan is POA, right? We got all our uh, nodes set up and we can somewhere. How you want to turn that off? You know? How you want to turn that off? You can't. You can't. It's game over. It's game over since a long time. They missed it. If they wanted to do something about it, they should have done it in seven. It's way past the time to get rid of it. It's too mainstream already. Countries like in South America already adopting it, buying more with their GDP. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know? Like, this is serious stuff right now, you know? Um, I, I, I believe wholeheartedly we're too big to fail. And about Vulcan, let's let's go back to Vulcan, right? So about this end of year thing. The, I, I'm pretty sure that Jason said end of year because he wants to ballpark the fact that, you know, a worst case scenario, it's end of year. That's my take. Because I think, you know, obviously he doesn't expect didn't probably. I, I, I lost you for a second. Uh, what what is by end of year? Because I lost you for like ten seconds, and I didn't I didn't catch that part. What's by the end of the year? Well, Jason posted E O Y earlier. I Are you talking about you. Vulcan, Daniel? Yeah. Oh, we lost you, Daniel. Yeah. We lost Daniel. Yeah, I see. His face, his face is lovely. Yeah. <laughs> when, especially when you say we need to make this a gift, end of year, E O Y. Look at the young Daniel's face like this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I keep on breaking up, right? Yeah, Daniel, it was funny because like, your face was stuck oh, like this. Perfect, it's perfect. We got another shot. We got another oh, shot. There you go. <laughs> end of year, like this. <laughs> end of year. There was. What? That's what we think of end of year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna get in trouble. For I that. need a screenshot this way. One second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you uh, know the end of year uh, thing that Jason put out may come from the fact that I noticed in the Discord he was fielding a lot of questions of like, you know, <laughs> we want basically a specific time and everything, and he might have been <laughs> scanned things and knew it was going to be delayed and been like, okay, let's let's do the delay. But then I don't want I don't want to constantly be doing. We're just gonna up. We're gonna we're gonna update the roadmap as we go, and people will understand where we're at, when we're at it, and and he won't have to be fielding things. Because then if he came back and said we won't make quarter two, but we'll make you know August fifteenth, you know, then it'd be like oh he's gonna start doing it again, you know. And then you know so maybe that was what his his thought process was that hey. We're gonna do it by. We're gonna do our best to get it by end of the year. We're gonna upload. We're gonna update the uh, roadmap. So, you know, you'll be in the know. So, let me talk to you about the precaution I took. You know, the uh, K KYC for the nodes is in five days. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ends in five days, right? So, uh, you know, I found it kind of uh, fishy that it was so close, right, to the deadline. Like, I won't hide it. I found it like nine days. Uh, Nick Kalyani sort of hinted towards the, the fact that it will be a difficult task to accomplish to uh, put online 500 nodes so fast. If you remember, Daniel, he was on your stream, and Nick said that. <laughs> I 
just love this. It pauses a great, a great, a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Every man. time it's mentioned, end of year, Daniel, Daniel's stream comes out. <laughs> this is a lovely. This is lovely. <laughs> Poor guy. I mean, he's on. He's on. He's on these lives and doing these running around. Well, it's my face. Do I keep on? Yeah. Every, every time yeah. I say. Do I keep on making air? faces? Yeah. Yeah, your face is just. It's just insane. <laughs> it's just insane. <laughs> <laughs> so we we shouldn't say it anymore. It's. The, I'll try to keep a time. smile on my face the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no, we know you're full of it. No, we know you can't. You can't be smiling that long. Your face will break. <laughs> well, no, I can I'll smile. I, I can't. I I can't smile and laugh as long as Max can, but I can smile I know, for, for I quite know. a long time. Yeah, <laughs> I love the way Max is always laughing. The timing is incredible because I say end of year and you freeze like for yeah. like the past it happened seven like minutes. three times in a row. <laughs> he said end of <laughs> year and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Oh man! Oh, he's froze again. <laughs> well, uh, he's I, smiling I put this time. Oh, there you go. He, he did it. He, he's made it. he made it. He did it. He did it. Yeah, he did it. It worked. It worked. <laughs> you were so, look at it. Yeah. He's like, oh, the smile is killing me. <laughs> Poor guy. I put up a, a poll uh, of votes before the stream um, to ask what everybody was feeling like um, about the uh, about the EOY. So 52%, so um, over half uh, out of uh, 61 votes said that they understand. And you know, yeah. You know what is there not to under, you know we're, we're we're all working towards the same goal right we want to work the product out there and when it launches that we we go out of the bank right um 16 said no i want a refund so that is like nine people nine people want a refund <laughs> oh wow uh 28 so another third said it's all right can grow and build more awesome so that maybe those people are, are want to develop more in the meantime and think about things they can deploy for Vulcan, right? And that's it. Three percent said uh, we know nothing, Jon Snow, you know, from Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I almost said that one because I like the Jon Snow thing. But I was like, no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the majority understands, right? So. That is like almost, what is that? 80%, 80%, 80% of people understand. So. Yeah, but I think, I think Daniel was right in, in, in his lives and what he was talking about is I think that Daniel was saying they still say quarter two, but not, I'm not trying to you know, put words in his mouth or anything, but he was coming across like he just felt like quarter two might not happen. That's the way he's feeling. He, he, he came across to me and he was saying that they haven't given us an indication that it won't be. So he didn't feel like the way he was talking, like he had totally bought in that they were going to do quarter two. So I think a lot of us were feeling like it was going to go a little later. None of us were thinking end of year. So, yeah. you know. I can agree with that. Yeah, and, I don't, and nobody should be getting on Daniel's. I mean, at, at, I can't. If you watch, oh, they're shows, going to. I, I, yeah, they're going to. Yeah, I watch them. I'm in and out and stuff like that, and and doing things and stuff. But the gist of what I got from Daniel was, like I was saying, that he was saying we don't have an indication, but he wasn't completely positive that we were going to make quarter two. But he wasn't like out there going, oh yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely quarter two. And if you don't like it, then leave my channel. You know that kind of. It wasn't like that. He wasn't talking to people in a bad way. He was just saying, hey. You know what? It, 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 they yeah, say we're gonna it's tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's all it is. I'm not, I mean, what am I supposed to do? You know, say, no, it's not. Like, they're saying it's Q2, but you know what? You know, it's not, guys. Like, it, that's what they keep on yeah. saying. So, you know, like now, now, now uh, you know, I'm going to go with until the end of the year. Now, if it doesn't go, if it doesn't happen by the end of this year, is it my fault? They're telling us that. That's the same thing that happened before. They told us. March. They told us January. Then they told us March. Then they told us Q2. 
And they kept on telling us Q2. And now they're telling us end of the year. I've been saying what they're saying. That's all I'm doing. Now, like I said, at the end of this year, if we're still not released, am I, am, am I, am, like, the logic doesn't make any sense. The fact that people are looking at me. And then they call me Maxi and everything. They, Can you go in there and do your live shot and start screaming about this, this, that, and the other? And I'm like, I'm not going to do that either. Like, I mean, yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not happy about it. This screws me up too, just as like it, just like it does anybody else. But I mean, what am I going to do? I'm not going to fud my own bag now, you know. Like I'm not going to go out there talking trash about Brian Legend and Jason and the team and Vulcan Blockchain. What a crappy thing project this is. What? Why would I do that? I'm expecting for big things to happen, and I'm not going to make it look bad so that people are less inclined to be involved in this. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I, I, I think you know. I agree with you, but I, I don't think that uh, nobody should be mad at anybody. The only thing I would say is that I wish we would have just known earlier. I think we all felt like something, but the team should have been out earlier with this. But who knows? I don't see it. I think everybody so. should just be pissed off at Damien. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nobody hears from Damien. So we'll just we'll just say, you know, what? that's fucking Damien, bro. It's his fault. <laughs> that's what it is. And then, you know, <laughs> we don't have to worry about it because Damien's just going to sit back in the cut anyway. That's what he does. <laughs> so I put up a, a question yesterday in uh, my server uh, to the legendary <clears throat> asking, you know, you know, I, I said, you know, with obviously that we're seeing the price continue of us go to drop. And uh, with this now news that we're pushing back, uh, the mainnet is being pushed. Obviously, it would be it would be nice to find some sort of other stream of income for for the community. Uh, so I have I have many things uh, which I'm considering. Uh, you know, obviously, I suggested the first thing out of the gate as go, and 90% uh, are, are, are 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 say why not? You know, because they haven't been paid for a, for a while, right? It's not like everybody who has sacrificed. The difference is for those who bought NFTs, of course, uh, you know, uh, you know they're we're on Binance Smart Chain and we still have some funds and it's not locked up, right? So we can do things. So uh, I'm uh, really looking forward, Daniel, to your live stream in, uh, in what is it, an hour or so? So you talk more about uh, World Token. I think that's going to be interesting. Yeah, well, that's what the, uh, that's why I'm going to, I'm going to start to shift the focus, at least on my channel and all of you guys, I implore you to as well, uh, because it's not, uh, it's not just for my benefit. It is also for yours. Like Max was just saying, this is going to be another way for people to pick up extra income. But then as a, as a person talking about it, whether it be you just tweet about it or you have a channel and you go on, even if it's for the first time, there is a, there is a link that I'm going to, that you're going to be able to provide yourself as somebody who goes out and talks about this. That, that link, if someone clicks it and they buy it into the worldwide token, you're getting 4% of that purchase. And that could happen a, a thousand times. It could happen once. It doesn't matter to me. So that makes everybody in the entire community uh, incentivized to go out and make something happen when it comes to the worldwide token. And that, to me, is going to be my number one way of promoting this. I mean, obviously, I'll do everything that I can with banner ads and things like that. But I think that if we have everybody who's involved go out there and put out a link on, on Twitter, make a video, put it on Facebook, talk about it in other you know uh, forums that, that you're allowed to, because I know there's a lot of uh, discords and other places, telegrams that don't want you talking about any other project. But if you can do that in, in, in some of these then take your link over there and let people know. And then if people click that link and buy it, you know, then that's going to be, that's going to be extra money in your pocket. So yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a big thing. So, uh, but what I'm going to talk about today, I'm not going to get into every single specific. I'm just going to talk about the announcement that I made and give everybody, I'll read the announcement that I made. If you want to, you can go to my discord and do that now. Either one of you for the audience that's watching on your channels now, I clicked the link. I didn't go because when you do it on your phone, I, you can't do the add to my ch add to my channel thing. So I'm just I'm just on your channel right now, guys. So if you want, you can go to go to my Discord and in the last announcement that I made, let everybody know uh, about it that, that that's watching now. And 
Uh, did you say, did you mention uh, what, uh, what is this commission? So I post the link on my, for example, on my Instagram saying that this, uh, this is the token that's launching uh, recent, uh, next. Uh, and I get a commission because they, it's automatically connected to whoever goes on the website. Is that how it works? And what's the amount? What's the commission? It's 4%. And when you go uh, to get the link, you have to put your information in, right? So your name, your, your all, all, all of your information so that when that link is generated and that link is clicked, if somebody clicks on that link and, it, and they end up buying the, the worldwide token, you're the one who's connected to that unique link. So therefore, yes, you're the person that receives the reward and it would be 4% of the purchase. Well, that really incentivizes a lot of people to promote this, right? Because they're getting BNB, I guess, back on top of that. Uh, That's right. The because everything is sort of staying in our uh, ecosystem and obviously I'm, I'm, uh, that's that's cool yeah so uh, I mean if four percent adds up believe me especially if you get if you catch a whale with that link and you get four percent that's gonna be a, a, a nice payday you know so you know like let's say somebody let's say you let's say someone clicks on your link and they spend fifty thousand dollars you're getting two thousand dollars. Just like that. Well, there's an easy way to to get some more BNB whilst uh, all this is happening. Get people because like I heard a lot of people talk about how they yesterday even um, John Chang, the uh, Asian version of Barry McCockner, was <laughs> <laughs> was in, was in Safe Go talking about how he got people into Esgo and now from uh, Taiwan. And how they they don't talk to him anymore, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. That guy cracks me up. He he has one of the greatest Seifu videos ever made. I don't know if you know about this, but he's got one of the greatest Seifu videos ever made. Did you see this, your map? No, I don't think I've I've seen it. I don't think I've seen it. It is just a memorable video what he does is he, he he's he's standing there he goes look at look at this everybody you thought i didn't have a motorcycle look at this all you people think i don't have a motorcycle there you go there it is right there and he's like standing there he's talking about his motorcycle and he's like all right so let's go for a ride and I'm talk to you guys about safe food. and he puts on his helmet and he goes <laughs> and, he's, and he starts talking about safe food and the entire time you can't hear him word he's saying it's just and then he'll come to a stop and you hear him like and yeah so the way i bought it was blah 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 he keeps still talking you have no idea what he's saying then he goes again the all year is the engine the entire time he goes and then he comes to a stop and you know you hear him still talking about seifu then he goes again he finally comes to a stop and he finishes the video you don't hear a word he said except for the beginning and end. It is freaking hysterical. It was like the best video I've ever seen. John Chang, uh, awesome. You gotta see this video to, 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 to know what I'm talking about. Me and Kiwi were going nuts over it. Kiwi did videos of, 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 uh, of ordering from Macca's, which is McDonald's down there in Australia. And then he was asking them if they took safe, if they would take safe food. <laughs> if they would take safe food for his McDonald's food, and she was like, "I don't think so." The girl at the window, and he's like, "Do you have a manager that I can talk to?" <laughs> Kiwi was crazy with his videos too, man. We had some great stuff that happened back in the day with those with those videos. But John Chang's is one of the greatest I've ever, I've ever seen. Everyone knows about it, except for you. Yeah, I must have missed it. I must have missed it. I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, but it, it sort of rang a bell, like it, the fact of this. Motorcycle. I might have seen it. <laughs> might have seen it. If, if Biz, if Biz Entertainment is in the is in the uh, is in the comments, he, he probably can get that. the link of this video. It is, and and if it, if they do, then I I would share the screen and play this video for everybody because it's just one of those great videos. You can't hear anything. I mean, like. You only hear the beginning and then it, and then the end. After that, in between that, it's like a long ride too. It's like twenty minutes, and he's just talking and talking and talking, and you can't hear anything that he says. It's just like what the heck, bro? 
It's hysterical. Is Biz in the in the comments? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, good thing about it, you know, about this whole delay is that we can actually do more now. I mean, we have more time to build, uh, more time to uh, uh, diversify yeah. and, and to, to, to research and uh, play around with uh, the test net, you know. Uh, I started developing the multi sender. Um, so yeah. it is. Uh, it is such a vital component for uh, so many things uh, and it's going to make the airdrop of Vol so much easier for me for the community um, uh, when we when we finally launch uh, because I'll be able to do it straight off the bat and all this I can demonstrate before and hopefully inspire others to do more dApps you know because you can do so many dApps and so many uh, different things on Vulcan and th this is a oh this is here he's probably going to find the link well, he said, yeah, he's looking for it now. So there you go. The uh, the the DAPS. Tell tell everybody what you mean by that, though, Max, because I don't think people understand how 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 much is actually out there that nobody is doing yet, and they can actually just do it, and then they can actually make money if they if they if they are the ones to make the DAP, like what you're about to describe. Yeah, well, ADAP is, you know, a, a decentralized application. Like the BNB pod is basically uh, uh, also ADAP, right? Uh, they have their own token, but it's, it's a website which, which lets you interact, right? And do something. It's like a, a service. So here the service in question for a multi-sender, it's really easy, right? We're just sending a Vulcan or Vol20 token, so every token on the Vulcan blockchain. Only because I am only developing the whole multi center for uh, Vulcan um, uh, to send the tokens instantly. And what does that mean actually, instantly? And how would I do that? Well, it's really easy. I take a snapshot of my holder of uh, Legendary Club with a click of a button. I have a CSV file. So it's like an sort of think of it as an Excel. I take this Excel, I, I, I take the file, drag and drop into the whole multi center. I already have preset. Uh, blacklisted NFTs, preset NF uh, NFTs which are not eligible for the airdrop, which are which for you for the LP, and I send it. And what? So that is the the service here provided, and it brings transactions to to, to Vulcan. What other people can do? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to give out ideas, but uh, because you know I have plenty of them, and I want to do a lot of them. Yeah. But um, uh, something of the sorts of uh, uh, well, easy NFT marketplace. That's also something you can do. You know that what the Vulcan blockchain is doing, a whole, uh, 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 NFT marketplace. That is also a sort of um, application, or uh, you you can do. It, it doesn't really necessarily mean uh, uh, much. That you know, just think of it as uh, uh, a technology which will permit to help the ecosystem. But you don't need to uh, invent anything. You can look at what already exists on Binance Smart Chain, Arbitrum, Ethereum, and uh, yeah. you know, the successful projects. They don't usually. They're not. You don't have to invent the wheel, right? You just the, the wheel has been invented. It's Vulcan. That's Vulcan that's what I was saying. Is the that's wheel. what I wanted you to say. Not and, specifically uh, all the ideas, Max, but the ones that aren't that like you, you're not saying them, but you're saying exactly what it is like. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's they're all right there in front of you on the other on the other blockchains. They just need to be brought over the Vulcan, is what right. you're saying. Yep. Vulcan is the innovation. And we just need to bring all of them from the others, which everybody can do their research, see which one fits their sort of uh, discipline or what they like and how they can integrate it. Yeah. And and we're all here to help. If somebody needs any assistance, they know how to get in touch with us. They know how to find us, and they've seen us do this multiple times for multiple projects. So <laughs> we can help if anybody wants to develop anything on Vulcan too. You know, and this sort of gives us more time to do that and prepare even better and have an even better launch. Because to be honest, launching now is would be such a waste in my opinion. Like launching right, right now, like it's the summer. Summers uh, in the crypto market his historically have not been so good you know uh it, in our summers i know for others in a different hemisphere that it, it's winter you know uh, down under uh in australia and, and such but the uh, fall is yeah. the best time yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 
fall is the yeah because if 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 everyone remembers correctly, seventy thousand dollar Bitcoin was in November. Just so everybody remembers, all right. <clears throat> This time around, I reckon it's going to be, and you can you can video, you can clip this. Uh, we're the 16th of June. Uh, will be over 150 thousand dollar Bitcoin. Uh, oh yeah, X, me too. Three X of previous yes. one. I'm, I'm thinking about 150 to 180. <laughs> I'm about 150 as my profit, where I'm going to be taking profits. You know? I think so too. I've been saying that. And and, and usually the, the 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 bull runs they start always with the with the big caps, right? So Bitcoin first oh yeah uh, and then it follows with with the altcoins and and in and, and layer ones as well etc so i think the narrative for next one is is, is, is going to be gaming uh perhaps uh the sui blockchain also but and vulcan that's what we need everybody to have in the, the new narrative is vulcan <laughs> so we have more time to prepare for the next bull run that's how i see it and i'm happy about it because i have more time to prepare i just need to think of uh uh, and I have already been thinking because I anticipated, you know, you always as a good, uh, as a good, um, uh, it's always good to, to have a plan B, right? Or plan C, plan D. So I anticipated that we're going to see some sort of, uh, maybe some sort of delay, not, not, not this, this crazy if this is literally the case, but I, I expected some sort of delay. And uh, so I hope that, uh, that we can use the time to our benefit and 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 uh and build more on vulcan hey pride thank you for joining us what's up pride he he, he came here to to ta tell everybody how he was right <laughs> i'm sure he's not he is not happy about it though guys i'm telling you that right now he's not coming on to be gloating he's just you know you knew what was up though, that's all i don't want people to think that you're happy about it Nobody wanted this, but you know it is what it is. Is your mic muted there, Brian? Oh, it looks like it might be. Uh... Yeah. Now we hear you. Up. Oh. Nope. Still can't hear you. Okay. <clears throat> is it in the settings in Streamyard? Because it sounds. It looks like your computer's come uh, off mic off mute, but. Yeah, everything here says that he's okay. You're gonna have to just come back on, leave and come back in, Pride. That's what it looks like to, I mean, to me. It's just not working. But um, are you are you gonna are you gonna go to my Discord and read to your audience uh, what I what I put in the announcements? Absolutely. So I'm there now. So let me read this uh, pin message of Daniel's. And is it pin Dan? It's in the announcements. You just, you could share your screen to the to the to the Discord. Oh, sure, got you. One second, I'll do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't want to let me share a Discord for some reason. You have to go to the middle. There's like a there's three tabs that you can click on to, so you can click your you can share a Chrome tab, or you can click you can uh, the, the, click the middle one, and then click the Discord, or you can click the the, the one all the way on the right, and, and it shows everything that's on that's happening on your screen. So. Uh, well, okay, gotcha. But if not, if yeah, if, if not, then just you can just read it. Yeah, it's gonna share all my screen. Okay. Yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there one that it, there's not one that says it's a little tab up there? It says uh, you can just show the actual uh, tab. Yeah, there is. Uh, uh, oh, let me try a different way. Like it, it can share you, my. Uh, you I, could do I it too, Chris. It, yeah, I, you can you can maximize it. You know, I, I can I can actually do it right now. Oh yeah, well, gotta, please go ahead, there. Chris. Feel free. Uh, it's under the announcements. So he's gonna share it, and then it's in the, it's in the announcements of my of of the Daniel Prado Worldwide Discord, and then he's gonna share it, Max, and then you're gonna have to click share on your screen. 
because this is your stream. So when he clicks it, you'll see it pop up at the bottom and then click share and present. Okay. Is this the one here? Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Yeah, it's the very the very last one that I wrote. Okay. Who would like to, Chris? Would you like to do the honors and read it? Sure. Sure. So uh, this is what uh, Daniel says. I know uh, you all very disappointed in the announcement about Vulcan and the release possibly being at the end of the year. But let's all remember it It says by end of the year, so it could be done before December. That's the glass half, half empty news. The glass half full news is this. The worldwide token is coming. I anticipate we will be ready to launch before one month from now, maybe even in the next three weeks. Uh, I will keep you all posted. What I can tell you is this. It is going to be a fair launch, and it will be on the Binance Smart Chain, so be ready with BNB to make the swap. Another thing I can tell you is there will be a 25 BNB max that you can buy with the when with when world token launches uh another thing uh there will only be fifty-seven thousand available to buy one last thing they will each be five dollars and seventy cents get ready and, sounds exciting right chris yeah which emoji should i uh click on uh, do you think it's fire? Do you think it's, it's a rocket? What, what do we I got? think all of them. As long as one of them is not a clown, then <laughs> click on it. Do, yeah, I'm going to look for the clown one. Uh, oh, and, please. Oh, and then definitely the, the Prado one. Got to do that one. Yes. Uh, and I'll do the beer one because it's Friday, you know. So, Why not? All right. all right, I'm good on it now. Pride says he can't get his mic to work. Yeah, I, he, I mean, excuses, right? He came on, and then he saw this was the wrong crowd to, to push his... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, should, he should... He could just restart his phone, though. Like, just restart... That works every time, doesn't it? Like, just restart your phone, I'm, bro. I'm it's probably in those settings, in the audio. I, I see that all the time. You got to set it to default on everything. You can and, try and with the yard. Yeah. You know, or something well, unless his mic's never worked on his computer, then oh, who knows? That's all right. But it was good to see him, though, huh? So we got somebody called Stuart. What does he say? So far, this is basically a full year delay while my investment dollars are locked up. And what even worse is I can't even see where my money is because he moved it off chain. Not cool. Hmm. Well, well, that's not it. that's not true. We can see we can see where our Vulcan is by going to. Uh, app.vulcanblockchain.com and then click on the leaderboard. Uh, what he's talking about is the liquidity. Where's the liquidity? Um, and that he did move off chain, yes. You, you got to pay. I thought the leaderboard was down. I, th I thought it wasn't up there. Is it up there now? I, I, it was, it, I haven't checked it in a while, but it's been up there, yeah. I know it was, but I don't know if it's come down, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying, though. This is the right time to have, like John Cano here. I'm taking this time to work on myself. I believe in the saying, if you want more, you have to become more, taking care of my health and my mindset. I love that. Of John course. Cano, you are a genius, my man. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I have the same Better mindset. yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. That's and but I'm also going to do what I can to uplift the community uh, with with what I do all the time, which is going on, talking to people, having a good time, um, and then now with this with this project, and then other projects that I'll do after this one is successful and it's off the ground, and I'll start. I'll continue to do different things that will excite people. Um, and then in, in like what John was saying and that, and, and what, you know, what you like to talk about in a, in a lot of your videos, your map is, you know, continue to work out. I've got my gym. I'm going to make sure that my body's right. So that when we go to, uh, 
Las Vegas, I look like Rocky Balboa and Rocky three. And Chris is going to look like Clubber Lang next to me. And it's going to be a good time. <laughs> exactly. Uh, on point. A hundred percent on point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chris is going to look like Clubber Lang with only, only he's going to have a white beard. And, and, and right? the, uh, the, uh, the, I guess the, uh, the first, what is and, and his, and his, He's gonna look. He's gonna have white skin too, which is a little different. But his body is gonna look like Clubber Lang. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. We can we can get two brides instead of one in Vegas. I'll be, your map is That's gonna right. marry two brides. <laughs> well, no, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be there. You're gonna continue lifting and you know doing all these crazy handstands that you're doing on Instagram and you know you're gonna come out looking like Apollo Creed at the beginning of Rocky Four. That's what you're gonna look I, like. I like which is amazing. Creed. I love Apollo Creed. He was awesome. Yeah. He helped Rocky in Rocky Three. It was unprecedented. I, Nobody saw that coming. I Have might, you seen I the Creed know. movies? Have you seen the Creed ones? They're, they're pretty good. Yes, I haven't seen the last one though, only because I'm in protest with Rocky with uh, Sylvester Stallone. Oh, are you you're mad at him? No, I'm in protest with him. He hasn't seen the movie because he says they're, that they've taken it in a direction he doesn't like. Yeah, I haven't seen the one that just came out. I didn't even realize the one just came out. I saw the other day a little thing, but I didn't see that one, but I saw the previous ones that Stallone was in. And I'm a fan of Stallone, so we can just, you know. I'm a gigantic to... Stallone fan. Oh, okay. All right, I love good. it. All right, good. I was going to have to be like, Dan and I are going to have to fight, man. <laughs> no, we're not fighting. That's my man right there. I love Sylvester Stallone. Everybody knows it. I told I everybody that. that we all look like Rocky Three. And every girl looks like Pamela Anderson. Everybody knows it. That's what we look like on the worldwide uh, channel. <laughs> All of us. Pride, are you, do you have your uh, your your mic your mic working? Did you do the uh, free start? He there, there he goes. You're right, Max. He's like, yeah, f this, bro. <laughs> he tried. Yeah, he's like, yeah, uh, he, he tried, bro. <laughs> and then he said, no, nah, never mind. They're talking about Rocky, freaking Clubber Lang. I'm out. <laughs> uh, Berto asks, "Does anybody know how much money was sacrificed?" I think it was around thirty-five million. Was it? Um, um all together, you're talking about with uh, with yeah. with the oh. Ethereum, with the Bit Bitcoin, and also, yeah, it was about that much. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then, um, and we have not had. A B and B sacrifice, though, which I anticipate having, and I expect for him to do that, and I want him to do that, and no, I don't want him to put out a dumb vote for it. He's gonna get all these people saying, "No, no, we don't need that." Like, let everybody get in on some B and B action. You put up a hundred thousand, you know, you put up one hundred fifty thousand, whatever the number is, and you say it's available for one day, one day only, and then you pick up some extra liquidity that way. It's not that much. We're not going uh, like out crazy. It's coming out of the the treasury anyway. All the all the coins that they have. We're not adding to this to the to the circulating supply. So all these people that you know that think that it's not a good idea. Like I don't get it. Have the B and B sacrifice. That's what I. That's what I say. I mean that's just me though. Yeah, I can see what oh, you're we saying. We got we got a, a special uh, commenter. One, uh, Mrs. Well, well, well. This is worldwide. Is there? I can't wait to see her. You, you got a stalker, Daniel. You got a stalker. <laughs> I have a stalker. If I if I have a stalker and it's Mrs. Worldwide, then that is awesome. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. That's awesome. Oh, let's see what. Uh, so Stuart, it's a little. Stuart here is a little bit upset. So uh, Stuart has been upset. He's been upset for quite a while now. So just take it, take it easy on him, Max. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it easy. I, I don't understand. Brian proudly displayed a leaderboard to show all the money coming in, then he moves it off chains just because it's unsafe for him to know how much there is. Uh, well, personally, uh, Stuart, uh, legendary club. Uh, we've screenshotted our how much our investment is. You know, that's something I, I believe everybody did for their own wallets. You know, this you had months and months and months to screenshot how much you have uh, in bull, 
So if you did that for yourself, you should be you should feel okay because it has your wallet address, it has exact amount of what you sacrificed. I hope you all did that for yourselves, you know, because uh, I did that for me, so that there is no. Uh, uh, but it's everything's on the blockchain and recorded anyway, so you can double check that. You know. Well, <clears throat> let me just say this though, your map and Chris, and I don't know what you guys think about this complete and utter nonsense, but people. The reason why, and, and I'm not saying anything bad about Stuart, but he's leaning, he's going in this direction, which is what all these futters like to do. And not that Stuart is a futter. I don't think that Stuart's a futter. He's a, he's, he's a diehard. He's just, he's just really upset. He's been upset this entire week. He's not been happy about anything this entire week. And I can understand his feeling. The problem is, is that He's allowing and others are allowing these crazy nut jobs, futters who make up things literally out of out of thin air and then they throw it out there. And one of the things that they made up was that Brian took the liquidity, three million dollars of it and bought the current house that he's in now, the one that he just bought sometime this past year. It was a three million dollar house and they think that he took the now. That to me is absolute ridiculousness. That not true. Brian did not do anything like that because all will be able to see where the money is and where it went to. The blockchain doesn't lie. He's not that dumb. On top of the fact that Brian's worth somewhere around fifty million dollars, he doesn't need the liquidity. On top of the fact that he's got Jason, Adrian, and Damien to answer to, if he were to do something dumb like that, and if if he did do something like that, I don't think that those three would sit back and go, you know what? If that's what you want, Brian, go ahead, take out $3 million and buy a house. Even though you have all these millions over here already, take the liquidity for our blockchain that we've spent so much time on, so many blood, sweat, and tears on. But go ahead and you take that $3 million for your house. Don't use your other millions that you have over here. Take our money that we need for the blockchain. I don't think that's true, and I think it's ridiculous. But that's what's going on, and that's the reason why Stuart's asking that question. Yeah, but at the same time, I completely everything that Stuart's saying, I can completely follow and understand. And you know, I, I know what you're saying too, Daniel. But I can see yeah. his frustration. I can see why that those things I do come too. up. And and at the same time, and you know, it, it, it's very valid. So I mean, he is, and I think that's what you're saying too. But the the problem that I have is when you start filling your head with all this, you know this FUD and everything like that, not just on Vulcan, but just so many different things. It's like it, you just get overwhelmed and stressed out about a lot of things. So I don't know the answers to it, but I do know, take a breath. Not much we can do right now, one way or the other, whatever it ends up being. And uh, just, just try to chill, you know, try to, you know, it doesn't make sense. I agree, but you know, no. what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do right now? So don't, don't let stress you out. I don't want to get you upset. It's a weekend. It's a Friday. It's almost beer o'clock Friday, whatever. Mm -hmm. close, something like that. So. He can, he can, uh, you know, where push comes to shove, he has these sort of questions. Like, uh, if I may say, a Kryptonian had a, a, a question. He did a, he opened a support ticket, you know, open a support ticket in Vulcan or wherever, as go. Ask them. If you have this question, <coughs> ask the team and you see what reply you get. We don't know the answer. Like, we, we are just, uh, we don't ever, like Daniel says, would believe something like this could ever happen. This is a legacy project of Brian's, the Vulcan blockchain. This is a legacy project. You would, he wouldn't do anything to, to harm its existence. You know, we're talking about the man who already bypassed uh, Binance's uh, centralized exchange before. You know, this is his 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 time to surpass everybody, and he's made it very clear that he wants to surpass Ethereum, right? So, yeah, for that to happen, why would he want to tarnish anything? You know? Yeah. So just uh, keep that in mind. Keep that. In mind. I'll do an entire live shot naked, if he, if that turns out to be true. Why are you threatening all of us with that, man? Why, why, why did you have to go there, Daniel? We're all having a discussion about how we feel about stuff. Here you go, come in and scorch the earth on us. I, I thought I thought you would like that. I'm sorry, you know. Jeez. Yeah. That's I, you know, I, I would like to see it. 
if you did it, Chris, I'd be all for it, bro. <laughs> oh, let me tell you something. People be paying to see this. <laughs> no. I think I'll do it on a pay per view. If I did it, it's going to be on pay per view. I will make money on it. Yeah. No, yeah. no, and I'm not clicking on anything unless it's a super chat. Yeah, you, you gotta, you, you better talk to Miss Worldwide because she might be shutting you down right now. <laughs> yeah, know. you're not allowed. I don't know. She, like she might, she might, uh, she might uh, go out and start promoting it. Actually, <laughs> start trying to find out if. She might, she might go out there and start trying to find out a way to prove that Brian used the three million dollars, just to me, just to see, just to see me do it, right? Right, you might. She's like, wait a second, huh? How did he do this? <laughs> Poor Miss I love it. I love it. I love it. She actually answered. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 she's like, yeah, that got weird. <laughs> no, she's not gonna. She would never do that. She'd be like, no. She's probably gonna yell at me when I get home. Yeah, I would imagine. <laughs> Even though she problem. she doesn't yell at me though, she never yells at me and she never curses. Isn't that weird? Well, she doesn't seem like she's a person that does that. I mean, she, she just something. I don't think she point, cares really. But she probably gets really to the point about where she wants to cuss. But you know, she's like, uh, I'm a God fearing woman. You know, can't do that. You know. She is, and I'll tell you what, man. She like I I've told people this the whole thing that about her not liking cursing, and that she doesn't curse, and it is a it is a stone cold fact that she has never cursed one time in her. I, I mean, I think that's amazing. The fact that she has actually been able to do that, not one time ever, well, in over seventeen years. That's pretty amazing for anybody to do. But for anybody, it's, yes, it's, it's actually like just spectacular, just amazing that she can do it and be married to you. That's what I'm saying because I'm like a cursing machine sometimes. <laughs> She's like, Could you imagine how many times a curse word's come across her mind? She'd be like, No, nope, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> no, yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> like, she'll say, What the f? Like, she, she says the word, like, I mean, the, the, the letter, but she doesn't say the actual word, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, She's a good woman. And then she says, what the fork and spoon? Like, that's another thing that she says. What the fork and spoon? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's another little... My grandmother okay. used to say, like, all oh, rats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are rats, rats, yeah. I'd say, just say shit. You know, she's like, no, I can't. I'm like, oh. This no, her newest is... thing, this her newest world... thing that she says, go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying this to think of what her newest thing is. Miss Worldwide is, like, a person that we all aspire to be, personality-wise, and and caring about I, other people and stuff. I just remember what she says. She, she her newest thing that she does this past two years is heckin. So whenever she wants to say anything like that that involves like a curse curse word, it's heckin this and look at this heckin person, heckin this, yeah. heckin that. You know what I mean? Like that's what she says, heckin. That's her curse word. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I'm like, that's brilliant. Like. It's almost like a curse word, but it's not. It's like so clean at the same time. I can, you know what I mean? You know what? I'm all I all I hear like see in like my mind right now is like her reaching through the internet and grabbing you by <laughs> ripping you off the show. <laughs> You've had enough, Daniel. Stop talking. <laughs> almost. I still have a whole show to do. Hopefully, you guys will join me on that. <laughs> but by the way, if you want to just stay on, <laughs> I'll just add my channel. Well, uh, uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know how, how much time you guys have because that's not going to happen. I mean, could only be on for an hour. Yeah, uh, uh, I pushed the uh, the meeting to uh, to tomorrow morning, so my next appointment is in uh, an hour and forty five minutes. But I got about an, uh, another hour or, or so. An hour, an hour okay. Hour. Well, yeah. So because I'm I'm uh, nine minutes away from home, so what I'll do is I will, um, I will leave you guys not right now but like when i get to the house i'll leave you guys you guys continue to talk and then i'm going to come up on my channel with you guys okay sounds good and then everybody you know and then, way, and then uh, i can I do to say something uh, uh pretty cool so i uh you know i'm, I'm not very there's a certain domains i'm not good at you know like can't be good at everything so uh technical analysis and trading is not my forte but I have, uh, uh, I've, you know, over the, the years and over the past decade, I've created quite a network 
And one of the people in that network is an expert trader. Uh, he used to work for, you know, the biggest branches of trading companies in Switzerland. And we talk regularly. So I sent him the trading pair on Dexfeener. He obviously deals with uh, regular commodities and tradings, but it's the same sort of a graph sort of technical analysis and from someone with, you know, uh, over 30 years of experience. So he'll gonna, he's going to be very likely this weekend studying because he says the chart needs around a month. You know, I'm talking about SGO for everybody watching. Um, so uh, SGO BNB. So he's going to be looking into the SGO BNB uh, chart okay. this week. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get him to uh, give us all a sort of demo of what he would do uh, as an expert trader on SGO BNB uh, trading. Uh, to give those cool. that want to swing trade, he's going to give a sort of... Uh, demonstration with the deck screener and uh, stuff like that. So I'll, I'll cut the video and uh, I'll probably post it on, on my channel so everybody can, can, can have a look at that uh, so that they can best trade as go because, you know, obviously a lot of people are, are, are holding as Nacho says, and that's, uh, that's a problem for both the protocol and uh, their, this is not like safe last year, you know, where we had uh, so much, uh, uh, up, upwards movement that you could just buy and hold and just get pay, pay, pay out yourself in rebases, right? Now you just you really need to uh, study the charts and uh, and play with ARB perhaps, but playing with ARB now is kind of hard with all these bots, right? So uh, I guess swing trading right now is the only thing that they can do because the charts are quite, uh, you know, uh, up and down every day. So uh, uh, I'll have a look with that with him over the weekend and probably next week and we'll make something up so that everybody has something they can, uh, you know, get familiarized with so they can best help them understand how to trade better. Yeah. I hope it helps. We all, we all need to get a bot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian, you're finally on. Yeah, I figured it Yes. Out. Did you restart your phone? Well, something on my work computer had, a, had the mic turned off. They only get access to <clears> apps. <throat> Okay. Well, you're on finally, man. We want to hear what you have to say about all of this, uh, you know, the, 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 the delay, the end of year, everyone's freaking out about it, you know. What's up? I'm pissed off at you like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Let it all you, buddy. You're misleading us. You're misleading us. <laughs> That's beautiful. I, I didn't see that one coming. That's good stuff. That is good. So I'm pissed off at you, man. Just like everybody. Else. Yeah. Oh, that is funny. No, like that I is you, good man, like, stuff. I, knew, I mean, if they knew it was gonna be delayed, which they knew, they should have just been been told us. You know. That's yeah. 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 We were saying that earlier. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got somebody asking for a refund. Refund is needed, huh? Ooh. Not gonna happen. We'll get right. We'll get right to you. <laughs> <laughs> right after the intermission. Please hold. Yeah. Please hold. Just hold on for a little bit. We'll get right to you. <laughs> I, it's Stuart and I are on the same page. I, I just cannot. I cannot believe uh, Stuart. Stuart's like. Uh, um, she doesn't curse and is married to you. She's a saint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, she is, though. I mean, like, it's, you know, I, I know that it, it sounds like I'm saying these nice things because she's my wife, and but, like, I'm telling you honest things. Like, she actually does these things, and it's just amazing to me. She's an yeah, amazing the conversations person. conversations I've had with her and stuff like that, I believe I believe what you're saying. That, I mean, she just, you know, she's good people. Yeah, she's very... Um, She's very she's a she's a she's a very caregiving person too, like with with everybody like in the house she's always making sure that everybody's okay. And like my sister in law is staying at the house for a couple of months and she's got two dogs. One of them just got put to sleep because she, she literally was dying the past couple of days. So my sister in law's upset. But my you know my wife gets up in the middle of the night to go with her to take the dog. You know, and but but when she was like alive just a few days ago and all the days that she's been here, she's been here for like three, two or three weeks now. You know, she's taking care of the dog and she's making sure that they go out and she's, you know, preparing their food for them. And, you know, uh, when we're outside and 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 I'm working on things, she's always making sure that I'm yeah, she's a very caring and nurturing person. So it's very feminine. And that's 
what I love about her. She's a very feminine woman, and I love it. She's absolutely spectacular. You know? We got to change the name of this to the Mrs. Worldwide Show, Max. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can. Do, do you it. know how to? Um, do you know how to put up a poll? Like, do you, like have have you put up a poll? If there's a poll that you want to know, do you know how to do that? I can do that. Hey, Matt, let's do. That. You know, yeah, I really put up a poll of something. Like, he uh, already did. He put up a poll about how people were thinking about the uh, the end of year. Okay, I ended it. So should we put up a poll? Oh, okay, you did? I'm sorry, what was it? Worldwide should uh, divorce What Daniel was the results of your... Or your map or... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's not a good poll, no. Because all my haters are going to be like, pride, pride in your map. <laughs> What would you like to ask the audience, Daniel? Um, I, well, I'll ask about the uh, the worldwide token. Are you excited about the worldwide token? Yes or no? You know, I'm ex I'm expecting for it to be a good high percentage, but I'd like to see if there is anybody anybody out there that's not you know and i would like to know why and if anybody has questions i'm about to go on in, in a few minutes uh and you guys all can join me supply. Fifty seven thousand supply five dollars starting price right five five dollars and seventy cents yeah there's a five seven theme throughout the entire thing 57 percent apy is the other thing that i'm dropping right now it isn't it is a rebasing token that um, if we the, the the way the way the math works out, we can 10x and will still be deflationary. The only time it won't be deflationary is two things: we go above 10x, and we also are uh, low in volume, meaning a hundred thousand uh, dollars less than a hundred thousand dollars a day. But if it's at a hundred thousand dollars a day or more, and we 10x. We're still deflationary, and it stays at fifty-seven thousand or less. But it still produces those rebases that will equal uh, a certain amount that that I'll reveal when we when I do the white paper show. All of that stuff is going to come out in the white paper show, but it's going to be deflationary because there's there's different things that I've put in place to 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 force that to happen. You understand? Yeah. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So uh, I, I put up the poll question. So the question goes like this. Are you excited about the worldwide token? Answer, choice one, hell yeah. Okay. Excited AF or choice two, I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be, that would yeah. be the second yeah. choice. Yeah. yeah, you gotta stop doing that because now I'm gonna be voting for the weird one. Oh, please, come on, Chris. Did you not hear me, bro? You're supposed to be my man, bro. That's it. Yeah. Uh, all right. You know what? I, yeah. I wouldn't say that. I'm not going to use a cuss word with us talking no. about this worldwide. So I can't. I actually, I can't vote for the first one, but I, I will anyway. <laughs> Just, I apologize to Miss Worldwide for voting for stuff that's got a cuss word in it. <laughs> so listen, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave, but I'm gonna come back on on my channel. But I want to have control of the of the stuff. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna send you guys a link, all of you, but then click to add to your channel instead of, and then we'll see if we can actually do this while you're on, <laughs> Max. Yeah, oh, so we can do it. We can do it all. I, I'm yes, yes. Only only you guys. I don't Click the link keep, so that uh, you're on my channel also at the same time. Sounds yeah, good. I don't want to keep your map on, though. But, I mean, I, I can do that. But well, you said he has an hour. I got I, an hour. Oh, I thought you said that you only had an hour. I, I did, and I put the meeting for tomorrow morning. I got my next meeting in, a, in an hour and a half, so I got about an hour oh. before I have to go. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can do this, though. I want to see if this works where we actually, like, cross, cross 
so, you know, the whole thing. We'll, we'll try it. I'll be back in a little bit, guys, right? Uh, a bit. Pride, go ahead and tell everybody about how amazing you are with your, you know, <laughs> predicting skills and, and everything. Everyone's dying to hear it. <laughs> I got right, a I'll see you guys. Can you tell you about my shirt? I got a shirt made. I bought a shirt from Chris Oh, yeah? Cruz. Chris Cruz Let's made me a shirt it. that said Pride was right. Yeah, I, I, nice. I, I started a merch store, and I the, one of the first things I made was Crypto Pride was right. Nice. Uh, I didn't even know that that was made. You got to show that to me when I get, when we get back on the air. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I don't think it was. Yeah, made I also yet. made one that for Crypto Terry, and it says Crypto Terry, what is he going to eat next? Oh, I thought he was going to say I love peanut butter. Yeah, I'm not putting. That. <laughs> what is he going to eat? <laughs> What's new with you, Pride? What's up? Nothing, man. Just hanging in there. I'm on day shift now. I was working overnights for the last couple years. Now I'm on day shift for at least I think six months. Okay. So, 62 Monday through Friday. My boss gave me a cushy job. As you see, I'm working right now. Not working. Doing my Daniel Prado. <laughs> <laughs> Good, to but, uh, Good to hear. Well, that, that's nice because then you have, uh, you get the regular sort of shift, not the, what is it called? Yeah. The graveyard shift? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But I noticed working doing day shift, man. You can't get anything done. You can't go to no doctor's appointments. I try to get an oil change. Like, man. Almost all chain places close like five o'clock. I'm like, what the hell? I couldn't agree more. I, I used to have uh, night shifts as well when I was younger and actually, and uh, then do more work during the day. So uh, that was lovely because you could just uh, like sort of like do 20 hours out of 24, you know? And it's exactly what they say, you know, as long as you're doing um, like how to beat the system, right? Like you got a guy which does, which does 40, 40 hours a week of work uh, and you're there doing like 80 hours. You know, it doesn't matter if you're less efficient by like 60% or 50%. You're still doing more. You right. still accomplish more in the same same time frame, right? How do you feel about this delay then? So you anticipated it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, um, once the news wasn't coming out, like especially like with the hackathon updates, yeah. And uh, they still haven't they still haven't announced anything past Gamma to be technically, you know, correct. They're still saying we're in gamma. So, I mean, you put all those things up, add them up. You know, people keep, plus people in the, in the Discord kept on asking when we launch, when we launch, when we launch in, and not getting an answer, definitive answer. And, you know, you pretty much can put two and two together, and those going to yeah. be delayed, you know? My first hint was, uh, well, one of the hints was uh, uh, Nick Kalyani. If you yeah. saw his stream with Daniel when he, when he was asked the same question, and he replied, uh, "Nodes, you think we can uh, put them up online in a couple of weeks?" Like he insinuated the fact that you know it's impossible to do, mm -hmm. uh, basically. So uh, that was. Yeah, plus, you haven't heard, any, you haven't heard anything about the light nodes either being onboarded. Nothing. You only heard about the fact that the light nodes structure uh, for the blockchain would change, and the full nodes would suffice, and the yeah. light node now would only sort of monitor the health of the network. And, right. Uh, that so uh, well i mean that's good i guess uh, they sort of uh, you know put 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 those things in in, in stone already but I, I loved really the uh the update um the the thing he showed uh jason today where you could see each segment of update coming towards mainnet and you would see a link a medium article a youtube video corresponding and and and, and that is sort of clean work i mean you gotta admit it, it's it's very clean very very sort of clean work. Yeah. So uh, um, I think moving forward, we're going to see m m more. Uh, you know how now it's divided into gamma, delta, zelta, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. but I think now it's going to be really structured very well and that we're going to see everything because go step by step. So we'll really be able to time this. Uh, sort yeah, of when it's going to launch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really got to, I, I mean, I, I anticipated this as well a little bit, but I didn't want to, you know, uh, create any uh, sort of. Um, a lot of people are uh, have high expectations and these sort of uh, moments when especially there is a launch of like something like as go you're talking in the fact about that Vulcan might be delayed will probably uh, and the, the other thing you got to think about is you know people's money is going to be sacrificed they were supposed to get all their money by the by january according to the vesting period now they got to yep. wait additional six months so you're not getting all your money to june next year if we launch in january well, not, they're not really getting it back, right? Because they're vested. Right, that's what I'm saying. But it's six months added to that now. Oh, yeah. 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 
Yeah, no. But, you know, however you spin it, I still think it's a good thing because we're with every single day. Right. I've seen these these bull runs. Mm-hmm. Every time Bitcoin halving, it's like clockwork. It's like clockwork. And every single time, it's the same sort of thing. The, the closer we come, the more we will... Every meme coin, every token during the bull run, 2x minimum. There's nothing mm-hmm. which, which which doesn't launch properly. The uh, uh, But a blockchain with rebasing technology. Can you imagine all the people that are creating these sort of uh, own protocols, uh, Olympus DAO, right? Uh, Time Wonderland, uh, everything else rebasing. Now we got actual blockchain just rebasing. It. All these people which love this sort of uh, inclusive uh, uh, mm-hmm. return on investments and they don't even need to set up any rigs they don't need to set up any uh, nothing they just buy tokens you know yeah. and how easy is it going to be to explain it to them it's going to be really easy and they just got to stay live and participate every day claim their flex and make passive income i think it's going to be uh it's going to be great you know yeah. I'm, uh, I'm really excited for, for me and if it takes a little longer that gives me time to work out some more <laughs> for, for vegas and you're not, uh, you're not fit enough as it is man come on uh no nah, i don't think so uh, i have goals you know <laughs> um one of the goals is uh, i read a statistic uh that where it says that to be the five percent strongest people on the planet you need to uh, deadlift twice your weight, uh, bench press your weight, and rowing uh, double your weight. So I'm halfway there, you know. <laughs> yeah. Still got still got some place to go, but I'm I'm happy like uh, with the results. Like I'm I'm augmenting uh, the weights uh, quite often now. So uh, yeah, pretty happy. Now, I know I know you I know like you into Bitcoin, Chris Cruz into Bitcoin, but besides Bitcoin. For the next bull run, are you are you accumulating any other coins or any other tokens? Of course, you have to diversify. Um, any ones you'd like to share? Sure, I, I can I can give you one of them. For for example, Sui blockchain, S U U I. Sui, okay. Sui, Sui, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sui blockchain, definitely something. Uh, the uh, SDK narrative, sort of the what is it called? The ZK narrative, ZK narrative. Mm-hmm. That's what they're calling it. Uh, Sui blockchain. I got plenty. Um, I'm interested in cake token. I think cake is very undervalued right now. Cake. Yeah, and I've been, I've been, I've been trying to. Uh, it's reply a dollar to, thirty-three. I'm like, what the hell? I've been trying to. Every time Brian asks in Twitter or everywhere, I try to reply with the cake pair. Mm-hmm. I would love that Esgo has a cake pair. You know, mm-hmm. that would be pretty cool. I think. You know. We get because if we can move cake to Vulcan after that's going to be awesome too. You know, it's kind of yeah. interesting. It, it's the main uh, uh, decentralized ex- exchange. Uh, that's what I'm thinking about. Just starting to accumulate just that cake token right so low. I think these are going to be at least three or four bucks easy. When they yeah. have four runs. Numbers. I think more. I think you're you're way undervaluing how its potential. I'm saying I, you know I could be conservative. You know. <laughs> <laughs> In God we trust, he's asking, what are your thoughts about BlackRock finding to open a Bitcoin ETF? Well, we, yes, we talked about just... it at the beginning of the stream. Oh, you actually. did? Okay. Yeah, that's going to be... Yeah, but, they, you know, they get approved right. for that, man. It's going to really open up the floodgates for Bitcoin. Because, you know, once BlackRock gets it, and, you know, everybody else is going to get it, and it's going to be nuts. It's... And and the, the cool thing about it is, like, the timing, right? So mm-hmm. we got this, this, excuse me for my French, this A... Mm, guy you know flooding the 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 whole uh crypto that's, not, that's the thing you think that's planned i think it's kind of planned them trying to bring down the price of bitcoin yeah just so they can accumulate it why well, it's kind of get as well, low as possible get it as low as possible yeah they're they're forcing bitcoin to consolidate so yeah. i mean you it almost be like you'd be as like super smart if you'd been accumulating bitcoin for the last decade I, know, I just saying. started. I'm starting. That's I started doing like was it, just saying. Just something twenty five bucks a week. Just extra. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, that twenty five dollars could be worth one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. You know, a few years from now. Thanks to I've Chris Cruz. Mining, mining Bitcoin. Since I started Since two thousand seventeen. Wow. 
Nice. And not only Bitcoin, I've mined uh, pretty much every cryptocurrency which can be mined and every device you could you can think of. Are you still I mean, mining? Uh, it's kind of tough now with the war in Ukraine. <laughs> so oh. we have power outages. So uh, that's the only issue. Mm -hmm. The only issue currently is the situation uh, in Ukraine. You know, and you probably heard of the recent uh, disaster. Uh, you know, the uh, have you have you heard of the the what they did to the the dam in the south yeah. of Ukraine? Oh yeah, natural catastrophe. I mean, it's like ten meters of water has been uh, level of water has risen uh, probably by over ten meters. They bombed the uh, they ex uh, bomb exploded the one of the major major dams. In the south of Ukraine, and now it's flooded hundreds of villages, and the houses are below water. Like it's that, mm. it's like from that movie, it's not Poseidon, it's uh, what is it? Uh, it's terrible, it's terrible. Uh, and uh, and uh, so, we you, I know that a lot of people are complaining about as go price, but uh, really, here and you know, we're I'm three hours uh, flight distance from, from there, you know, it's only three hour flight. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I'm I'm born there, right? So um, I, I still got a, a grandmother, which is in uh, Ukraine. She is 74 years old, and uh, uh, last year at the when Safe launched, I uh, was talking to her, and I would uh, she would tell me how she would be uh, uh, preparing Molotov cocktails and uh, hiding, you know. But she's a little bit silly because she would hide uh, between two bulletproof doors when I told her to hide in the uh, in the bathtub, you know, because if you're in between the bulletproof doors between her entrance to her apartment and the uh, main patio, uh, you know, you, you'll be blocked and there's no room to escape, right? At, at mm. least from the, you know, the our, our, our grandparents, they used to uh, do the, the, you know, you need to be close to some sort of exit, right? But, uh, it'll be hard to find her, but that, that's the story there. That's the story there. Anyway. Stuart, uh, Stuart, Stuart's got a comment there, and Stuart, I completely, I, I don't think that you're fighting. I completely uh, support you, and I completely understand, and I, I agree with you. So, don't you know what you, you're not putting things in there that that are making me feel like you're fighting. So, and then Jocko's like, he's, he's like, Pride was right. Dang it. <laughs> How many people are looking forward to tonight's live stream? Who's gonna win prize crypto crypto money? B U B and B and B pot. So what are you playing? What's what's the what I heard about it, but I, I didn't get the details. Tell us about it. Uh basically you get 20 bucks to play roulette. You gotta pick okay. a color, red or black. Okay. And if you win, you get 20 bucks and we get to play another round. Gotcha. There you go. Gotcha. Nice. And you won't you won't have that shirt by then, will you? I just ordered it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it was like, man. It might take a while, but yeah. So Jocko, I took your advice on that when I made a shirt for Pride that says uh, "Crypto Pride was right." <laughs> so I sent it off to him, or he he I sent the link off to him. He bought it. So Teddy is asking you a question you, for you, Cruz. Uh, wrap Bitcoin or Bitcoin? No, Bitcoin. I don't. It, yeah, my it to me, it's always been uh, Bitcoin. I hold it. I accumulate it, and um, it's in cold storage. So, what do you think about Binance Bitcoin? I mean, oh, this is, no. I, you know, I don't want to. I think if people think that that's a good option for them, that that's great. Me, no. Now, what do you buy your Bitcoin? What do you buy? What exchange you buy it off of? Well, it, it depends. It, it, wherever, it, basically, my big, I buy my Bitcoin straight off, straight from Bitcoin. Though it's not, it's not like a. Uh, well, yeah, I get through Ethereum. So you'd be like, yeah. So it'd be through Ethereum to get my Bitcoin. Then my Bitcoin transfers to my Bitcoin wallet. Oh. No, I, 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 uh, I buy, I mine it. So I, and yeah. uh, same goes for yeah. even coins like Dogecoin, you know, I've mined Dogecoin, you know, so <laughs> I still I actually buy my Bitcoin. I buy it off of um, Robinhood. No fee. Well, 
My, mine comes cool. through, it comes through Ethereum, but then it goes, it's often exchanged and then transferred to the wallet. So it's not like the profits are coming out. Well, some, some profits come out of BNB. So it basically depends on which exchange it is. So, yeah, I bought it from Robinhood. Then once I get a certain amount, I just send it to my ledger. Yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, it depends on where the profits are coming from, though, for me. Yeah, it's not going to be expected to buy it off Ethereum, though. Yeah, but the 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 thing with Ethereum is that I have decent amount of profits that come out of Ethereum, so oh. the the uh, fees are not as bad. But I could probably make more, but I wouldn't make more off of Ethereum. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like so you, you like know, in, yeah, you have a you have a project you're into in, in on, on Ethereum? Several, several. So it ends up being that I I earn I earn that fee. Plus, I earn more money off of Ethereum, even with the, the fees. So, okay, gotcha. you know, the fees are less on BNB, but I don't earn as much on BNB. Gotcha. So. Hmm. Yeah. No, no, Teddy. I saw a comment down there that you need to use Ethereum. No, you don't have to use Ethereum. No. You, would yeah, you can go, use any exchange. Like I said, yeah. Teddy, when I, I, use, uh, I use Robinhood. It's pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. You can also use like crypto.com. Yeah. Crypto.com and then uh, Coinbase too. Coinbase, you're able to buy Bitcoin. You can buy Bitcoin a bunch of different places. You don't have to use Ethereum. I buy Bitcoin with my Ethereum through through the profits of the, everything I have on Ethereum. And so the same thing with uh, uh, BNB. So it just it just depends. Some of them, you know, it's it's different with BNB because I have to exchange BNB for the smart contract to BNB in BNB, you know, on the Binance US. Mm -hmm. So that might be a little bit different in the future. So I'm not yeah. sure how that's going to play out, depending on how they do that. But if they're if they're crypto only, though, I don't think that would be a problem. So, uh, a KuCoin I've never done, but I heard some so many great things about KuCoin biz. So I would say that you know, I mean, I would imagine so, right? I mean, it, Pride have used uh, KuCoin. No, I never used KuCoin. So it's I would imagine cool. it would be the same thing. The only thing that I recommend to people is, however, you end up getting your profits or whatever. You start transferring it between different ones here and there, you're gonna start paying fees. So just 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 get rid of that. So if you're on Ethereum, stay on Ethereum, get your Bitcoin. If you're gonna buy Bitcoin, do whatever you want to do. I'm not telling you what to do. And then send it off to send it off. It, you get it on the central exchange, send it off to a cold wallet. So don't leave it on the exchange. So yeah. that's the only thing I could say hundred percent. That's my advice. Don't leave any of your any of your assets on central exchanges, but do it however way you, way way you think's best for you. Yeah, what I do is like once my twenty five bucks gets to like three hundred dollars on Robinhood, then I just send it to you, Cold Wallet. Yep. Yep. Wish I could, I wish I could mine it like your Matt man. How much do you mine? I mean, how well, many? You how can many mine it, but the only problem is those graphic cards get messed up. It's yeah. How many computers? Really... How many hard? How many? How many uh, miners you got, your Matt? Hmm. I have a really slick operations, you know, I, I've, uh, I'm really, really proud. Like, for example, my Ethereum mining um, is uh, uh, all the GPU mining. All my GPU minings, we have them. Um, how can I explain this? I need to show you pictures, okay, for you to understand better. But I don't think I'd want to see it. <laughs> I'd be freaked out. <laughs> Look at uh, it, 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 it looks really cool. Like, it's... Um, uh, like think of it as a, 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 a vacuum uh, compartment, but a huge one. All right, so a whole, a whole, a whole room, which I built. We we build these things, okay? Like we construct. It, it looks like a, you know, one of those wells. Like imagine a well, right? Like a well, but like which you could fit in a room, which uh, which has sort of trays, okay? Yeah. And what, and we would have an intake of cold air and an outtake of hot air. So it would be circular, reduced noise, so we could have it in apartment buildings. 
Okay, and we have them in apartment buildings because we have many, and uh, in offices as well. So you could use office priced electricity, you know, cheaper, even in you know Ukrainian standards. And uh, the, the beauty is each one has its own sort of slot. Okay, so you would enter, open it up, take out the thing. But these, this is sort of my old operations from a long time. So there's GPUs from back in 2017, which work still. Everything still works. You just got to clean hey, it up. Did you know, did you get Daniel's link? Because I'm about yeah, ready to log yeah. into StreamYard, see if it does it. Yeah, how, how, where do I put it, uh, Chris, by the way? Present, oh, do I do no. present? Hey, buddy, you actually, I'm, I think I'm speaking on both of them right now. Oh, really? How do can you, you guys hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. How do I, how do I add it on this one, though? Uh, where do I, do I, do I just click there? Do I just click there? Let's see. Let me try to get this sorted. Yeah, because we're crazy like that. And Biz, let's answer Biz questions. If I use um, Robinhood, there's no fees on Robinhood. No. How do I add it here? Is the question. Setting. So I think I'm, I'm muted on on his side. What do I have to do, Chris, to add this? Where do I put the link? Um, the link I opened up a totally different page. Oh, you opened a totally different page. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Oh, okay, let's do that. I see what you mean. Oh, snap. Okay, okay, double stream. Okay, gotcha. Let's do it. Okay, gotcha. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, but we, we would have. I was listening to part of it, part of what you're saying, it, but I think you're right. I think I think I think you have valid points there. But my thing is that um, this morning when I heard everything and I was I was uh, I was thinking about everything. I have no reason to think this at all, other than the fact that I was thinking October. I was thinking October, yeah. What for the launch? September. Are you talking on Daniel's stream? Chris? Oh, he must got us muted. Can you hear me, Yamat? You, you hear me, Pride? I can hear you now. You couldn't hear me a minute ago? No. I, I think Pride, when well, you I, said Pride, I, I, muted, I muted Daniel, and then you could hear me. Yeah, where's Pride? Okay. Pride, you got to click the link. I know, I got to, I'm trying to, I got to, um, yeah, you know what? This we got to stop this because you guys are all in stereo in my head over here. So, <laughs> everything that you two say, and then I'm then Pride's gonna join them and be like, "Oh no, I can't take it." <laughs> well, that's okay. It's actually just you map is in stereo with mine, so I can't. I can. I guess I can. I can. I can mute the uh, the tab for that one or this whichever one, but you're not in stereo because you're not on your maps. But your maps is the, it, he's the only one that's on both. And then when I hear it, it's like it's coming over here and over here. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear my own, so, so I'm gonna we need you, and Daniel, back on the other one as well, then, right? We only need pride. Pride, you need to join the other one. I gotta wait till the link comes in. My email is kind of slow. Let me send you. I, it, he's. No, you can. You can do both. I did it the there other night. 
Daniel. Yeah, uh, not you. We don't have you yet, Daniel. Yeah. And and Pride was, uh, Pride is coming. Yeah, uh, Pride. He sent it to your uh, Discord, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so funny. All right. This is crazy. Aren't we uh, quite the geniuses? <laughs> <laughs> Your laugh is even in stereo. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Right. It's like I got headphones on. Yeah, there we go. Daniel, okay, hold on. We got All right, nervous. how's that? Are we good? <laughs> you guys, I can't do this. <laughs> is it, are we on? <laughs> is everybody on everyone's channel yeah okay this is, this is brilliant i love it brilliant this is brilliant yeah this is perfect so yeah I, what i was saying everybody was yeah this thing is gonna happen it might might be the end of the year that's what they said but everyone's freaking out about the end of the year thing right but how about it It actually happens before the end of the year, which is a possibility. I don't think that they would have been done by uh, by July. That's out of the question. That would have been, hey, we have, we have a little bit of delay. We'll give you, we'll, we'll, we'll be up by the end of July. Uh, give us until then. They would have said that. But they didn't. They said end of the year, which means it's probably not going to be ready July. I look frozen to you. Am I frozen on your channel? You're on. You're frozen on your maps. Oh, no. But you're not frozen on yours. And oh, so I need I needed I needed two cameras for that then. No, right? no, we're just doing one because I see Pride. Everything that Pride did on yours just now, I just saw him do it on your maps. Him walking away and coming back and everything. Everybody's doing exactly everything. I see myself talking on both of them. You you're talking and everything, but when you're well, on what your did you maps, click the link with? Did you click both links on your phone? No, I did it on my computer. So I have one page open on one screen and one page open on the other, and I'm looking at myself do exactly the same thing on both. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the other one, and I'll just go on. I'll go on yours, your map with my computer camera. It's not gonna look as good, but it'll be the same, right? Yeah. Hold on, let me get rid of the other one. It's pretty cool. Now, now, yeah, now he's like he looks exactly the same <laughs> that he did on the. Okay, now he's there. Awesome, I can I can see you. Uh, you just blacked out. I blacked out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on. Do I have a camera? Do you see do you see my talking Daniel yeah. Wide yeah. thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so that's weird because it like the camera. Did I, is my camera not working? I haven't used this part in a long time. Maybe Chris, well, if you're I'm muted on, on mine, Chris, if you're muted on mine, then you can't. We can't hear you on mine. We can only hear you. On that doesn't make sense. We need to. We need to unmute you. Here. Oh wait. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Camera over here. I have another. Yeah, which which line are we supposed to be on? <laughs> we're, we're on everybody's line. It's everybody at the same time. I have another camera over there somewhere. It's like a web. I got to find. I don't know where it is. I misplaced it. Well, let's see who's uh, let's see the comments house you guys. In. Yes. So. Oh, I know. Harley's uh, talking about. Brian launching and he's doing hardly there's no information about, about Marvel and uh, 
and uh, it was deleted. So I believe uh, that has been shelved. Hey, sir. I'll be back. Looking for the. Okay, so stay high. 772 says it's hearing an echo, and so does Jamie. Okay. Yeah, because my camera is not working. It's echoing. Yeah. Fowler's here. <laughs> Maybe that should have should be working. I don't know why. Let me see if I can get you. Um. Oh wow. You guys can see and hear, hear, hear and see me, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. On my screen, but not you. Man. It's just weird how it's working for everybody else, but not me. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's just all go on Daniel's channel. Let's just all go on Daniel's channel. Let's leave this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is really brain tease right now. It's already Friday evening. <laughs> Guys, we're on uh, Daniel's channel. Let me send you all the link. Uh, here yeah. So you, can, you, can, you can find it. Um, let me send you all the link. Because um, it's his new channel, right? Because he got it. It's his Yeah, intro. that's right. Because the other one is still not back. I'll get it hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Oh, I got a cool question before I, I uh, uh, you guys on my channel, uh, In God We Trust asks me a political question on the US. <laughs> yes. But I'm afraid to answer. I don't want to get, you know, I, I don't well, have Let's any. hear the question and hear your answer. I'm curious. <laughs> let, me, let me turn it off on my channel first, okay? We don't want, I don't want to get <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one sec. Let me, let me turn off the broadcast. So you guys, the link's here to go in Daniel's stream, okay? It was lovely uh, to have you all on, on mine. One second. Go Bull. <laughs> Still learning. There you go. 